This is a tutorial for Virtual Engineer. Virtual Engineer is Sporlin's web-based sizing and selection tool. It allows a user to select Sporlin products anywhere an internet connection is available. Virtual Engineer will scale to the screen size you are using. This means you can perform selections on cell phones and tablets, as well as your laptop or desktop computer. You can get to Virtual Engineer by going to www.sporlin.com and clicking the Virtual Engineer link halfway down the page. This link takes you to a dedicated landing page, solutions.parker.com slash virtual engineer. Sizing tools include expansion valves, distributors, temperature responsive valves such as our Y1037 product, liquid line catch-alls, suction line catch-alls, suction filters, liquid line solenoid valves, discharge solenoid valves, suction solenoid valves, secondary coolant valves, evaporator pressure regulators, head pressure controls, differential pressure regulators, crankcase pressure regulators, discharge bypass valves, our new modulating three-way valve, three-way hot gas, three-way heat relame, and split condenser solenoid valves. We also include our flash gas bypass and gas cooler valves for tr transcritical CO2 applications. We include li liquid line sizing, discharge line sizing, and suction line sizing. Thermodynamic tools are also available. We'll cover that towards the end of the presentation. Valves are grouped by application. This means mechanical and electric valves are both under the same sizing tool. Let's start with expansion valves by clicking the center of the picture to launch the tool. Notice how we see both electric expansion valves and thermostatic expansion valves on the right-hand pane. The Product Info tab will direct you to a website dedicated to that product. This site includes all applicable literature to that product. Here is the site for SCR valves. Sliders at the top are for metric and imperial units and validate a part mode, which we will cover shortly. Inputs at the bottom of the page remain the same from our legacy selection program. These are basic conditions. If you need guidance on a condition, there is a question mark bubble next to the input to provide further information. Notice as I enter inputs, the applicable valve types will filter on the right hand pane. After inputting everything, we click the Compare button at the top of the screen. The Compare table shows our selection. Inputs and calculated values are repeated at the top. You can sort by valve type, percent loading, or slice and dice this data any way you want. The RPT column brings up a downloadable PDF to show proof of work. This PDF contains all of the inputs, calculated values, and valve selection. Here is an example of an ERZE2 summary report. Notice the conditions and calculated values at the, towards the bottom of the page. This table can also be exported to Excel by clicking the Export button. This is admittingly a lot of data. If you want to reduce the amount of information being shown, we can select only the valve types we want to see. By using the Select All feature, 
we can see how it turns on and off all of the valve types. If I only want to see ER and SER valves, I deselect, select all, and click on ER and SER. Now when I click compare, only those valve types appear in the table. Now we see only the ER and SER valves. If I want to determine how all valve sizes for a given valve type will perform under the conditions, I can use the validate a part slider at the top left of the page. Now, by selecting only the ER valve, I can see all ER valve capacity information for the given conditions. If I want to find a part number for the ER valve, I can click Configure. This will bring up what we call an E configurator to help us determine what the six digit part number is going to be. Notice the valve description at the top of the page and the six digit item number towards the bottom. All of our sizing tools work the same as the expansion valve tool where we show our mechanical valves along with our electric valves. Next, let's take a look at the pressure evaporator pressure regulators. Here we will see how we can compare a CDS valve or an insorate valve to get an idea what the best valve is for your application or possibly how to retrofit an existing mechanical valve with an equivalent electric valve. I'm gonna enter some basic conditions to bring up the compare table. When I click compare, I see that I can use an ORIT6, CDS4, or SORT PI2 for my application. Finally, I'm going to show you how to generate pressure temperature data using Virtual Engineer's thermodynamic tool. In this tool, we can select our refrigerant and CPT data at the bottom of the page. Similarly to the compare table, this information can also be exported to Excel. Notice how, how I have both bubble and dew point pressures in the table. This concludes our virtual engineer demonstration.